Hello, podcast listeners. This is Annabelle, the founding and managing partner from the law firm Krefovi, which focuses on advising the creative industries. Today, I, it's Saturday, the 20th of um, February 2021, and I want to talk to you about the importance of resting. Resting, R-E-S-T-I-N-G. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but when you love what you're doing, when you love your job, you uh, can get a little bit carried away and uh, uh, tend to work on it, doing it um, 24-7, 365. <laughs> and after a while, um, it's really uh, taking a toll on your health, on your mental health, on your relationships, etc., etc. And I think that um, the creative industries are particularly prone to uh, complications with um, with um, excessive stress and excessive um, you know uh, uh, energy being spent into carrying out the uh, creative endeavors and um, purposes because a lot of people who are creative uh, uh, may fall into the category of um, uh, bipolar uh, bipolar disorder behavior um, also called manic depressive and um, so a lot of, um, of um, creative people uh, can actually be diagnosed as uh, being manic or hypomanic, hypomanic or, and, and sometimes with some bouts of uh, d depression and um, uh, d d depressive episodes and therefore if they have both the manic where they feel up, up, up all the time and the, uh, the bouts where they feel down, uh, uh, depressed, uh, this is called bipolar uh, disorder. So the, the likes of um, Demi Lovato, Kanye West uh, and many others um, have revealed that they, have, uh, they were diagnosed uh, with bipolar disorder and um, actually there was some press uh, articles this last week just notice just just pointing out the fact that there are so many creatives who, who, who fall into that category of uh, of um, uh, psychological uh, uh, personality disorders so i mean it's it, it's not something bad per se it is what it is uh, and um um, of course, I'm not saying every creative person is uh, bipolar, but um, there is a higher tendency in the population which displays, who sorry, displays an enormous amount of creativity in having this sort of uh, uh, psycho psychiatric troubles. So you have to look after yourself, and um, you have to know that you are a sensitive soul, in particular to this, uh, in particular to this type of balancing your up up energy and your down down energy. And, um, and that, you know, implies that you have to look after yourself, you have to rest, you have to take some time off, you, you have to um, uh, practice as much as possible. I mean, when I say you have to, it's best if you, <laughs> if you look after yourself by um, uh, having, uh, for example, a meditation practice that you develop, um, also practicing sports, exercising, jogging if you are a very d dynamic type or doing more you know uh, spinning or whatever type of exercise you like yoga also is a, a you know mind body practice which is very all encompassing because it has also some bouts of uh, meditation in it so i mean for example i uh, I, 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 I i try to get uh, jogging i mean to go jogging every day uh, once uh, in the morning for around an hour and the evening i usually have one hour one hour 15 of uh, of, of yoga for example uh, so um it's it's not you know because of my uh, uh, um, psychiatric health that i do it but i i see that it improves my 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 mood it improves my my uh, body uh, um, health and also my mind. Um, I am a Gemini, so I tend to, you know, have a lot of it being very much in my head and thinking all the time and racing with my thoughts. And uh, also, as a lawyer entrepreneur who manages a law firm between Paris and London, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to, you know, a lot of work to do, etc. So what I'm trying to say is that I'm. For, as a person, as example, is I'm balancing out of his responsibilities, of his work, this one, this desire to achieve and to do, you know, the best I can and pr uh, provide the best 
um, legal advice and advice in general to the creative industries with also looking after myself, taking some time out, uh, resting and as I said um, trying to achieve an excellent health balance by doing lots of exercise, meditation and um, as much as I can um, healthy, healthy food uh, behavior. So I, as, I mean when you are a creative you're in it for the long haul right you don't want your career to shut, shut out at every 18 and be dead at 27 years old like the likes of um, the Nirvana guy um, ah, uh, Kurt Cobain and you know so many so many actually died and Janis Joplin and um, uh, 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 Jimi Hendrix and um, and also Amy Winehouse, so it's actually called the club of a 27 uh, years old because they all died at 27 years old because um, because they didn't look after themselves and also because a lot of them, like almost all of them that I've just mentioned, were doing drugs. Why? Because they thought, they, they were basing their assumption that as long as they were doing drugs and taking cocaine and this sort of um, ex exciting drugs, then they wouldn't have to do the bit where they'd rest and they'd, you know, take some downtime and do the, um, uh, do the recuperation uh, of a mind, body and soul uh, time. And so they were, uh, and they, most of them overdosed actually. So, um, or committed suicide or... Or had a, uh, a, a heart attack, which actually um, resolved into uh, the, the, the heart just stopping beating. So, yeah, t t you know, uh, re re taking substances is not going to um, stop you from doing the resting and the calming time and the me time and the I look after myself time. Um, quite the opposite, actually. So my piece of advice on this is stay away from all these substances. Um, even, you know, uh, if it's a one-off, it's just an, like an experience because if you try once, there are certain substances just, you, you just become so addicted to, even in one go, you just can't stop. So my advice is stay away from them. And um, yeah, and uh, good luck with finding your, your balance, you know, in terms of uh, having a sustained, uh, long and durable uh, creative career which um, will involve sometimes where you need to sleep to your eight or nine hours a, a per night. You need to rest, you need to eat, you need to exercise. And, um, and we will be here to advise you if and when you have some legal needs around the corner. Bye for now.